not morning. It is evening. Uh, it is actually 7.48 at night, but honey, today is day six of you being at Ranger School and my Dear Harold series. So Earl's fam, hello and welcome to my evening. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire. But it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining So, uh, first thing, A, you might notice my lips are pretty dark. I got some new lipsticks. We'll talk about that in a second. So, um, I obviously did not vlog my day uh, today, and I wasn't even sure if I was going to vlog tonight. But there are some things that I want to, like, clear up because I realize a lot of the time I talk about army stuff and I don't really give you all the details so especially for new people who might be confused about certain things um, there's just a couple things I want to clear up and then tell you some new things okay we are losing daylight quickly but I figured I would take advantage of it uh, before it's gone so anyways my first thing is I went on ColourPop's website and I decided to order some lipsticks because you know fall is around the corner and I just want to try something new I've been using the same lip lipstick forever and I also wanted to find a lipstick that was transfer proof because Harold absolutely hates it when I wear lipstick because then I'm like no like I'm not gonna kiss you or anything like that so I don't want to get it all over him um so I ordered three so I was watching the video uh, that I put up yesterday of us celebrating you honey uh, which I thought was so funny like I don't know that's just my sense of humor so I don't know what you guys thought about it uh, but either way we're really proud of you honey but there was a couple things that I thought maybe anyone new might be a little confused about because I kept saying how I hope Harold doesn't call me um, so I figured I would just like kind of clarify that really quick so while Harold is at ranger school he doesn't get to call me ever um, except uh, I'll hear from him after each phase uh, I might hear from him or I might not uh, but that that would be the only chance of if I would hear from him or I think there's a period of time like if you do recycle and before you start your phase again then you could like call home or something but really I just don't hear from him the only form of communication with him is through letters um, and most of that is just gonna be me writing him letters and like occasionally he'll write me letters but I definitely don't expect it so that's why I say like I hope I don't get a call from him because if a call he calls me then that means like he failed and he's coming home um, so that's why they say no news is good news uh, so I just wanted to like quickly clarify that and then also um, so you know this week um, that we're really excited that he passed is called rap week and that is when you can basically fail out of ranger school um and is like their way of like weeding people out because they have to make the class a lot smaller um but now that you're he's through that part he's basically gonna like stick it out through the whole time and he'll, he'll definitely make it to graduation there of course are like circumstances where um people don't um so one of those things is called lom which is lack of motivation so basically that is the ranger quitting and giving up and so then basically they choose to come home um, which would not happen to Harold um, another thing that could happen is he would get peered um, which uh, or a ranger could get peered it basically is um, all the rangers kind of like rank rank you in order like in your group and if you're like unanimous unanimously at the bottom of that um, then I think what would happen would you would go to like a board and like talk to whoever's in charge but like probably they would drop you um but also like that's not gonna happen to Harold either because he's a really great like teammate and leader and always helping people out um so that's that pretty much only happens if like you're just not really treating people the best or like you're not really standing out you know you're definitely just like not doing your part as much so I guess um and then the only real reason I think that Harold would you know actually come home for any reason would be if he got hurt would be if he got hurt because it's extremely common um, or like a medical thing so which would be like getting hurt but like um, people break their legs or their arms or um, you know their uh, heat casualty or something like that um, they get 
bit by something like really bad and I can't like keep going on uh, so that would be like a reason but other than that um, basically if he doesn't uh, do something really well then he will just recycle that phase um, because like I said there's three phases so if he recycles it he just does it again but he won't be coming home uh, so if that makes sense so now that's why I say like now I'm in the long haul for it because the course is 61 days but it's extremely common to recycle uh, so you know they really say to prepare for 200 days uh, but the good news is that he got through the hardest part of it and now that he's through there it means like he's he's gonna keep going you know no matter what so even though it could take longer than the 61 days he'll definitely probably most likely make it um all the way to graduation it's just gonna be a while you know um and then my other uh, thing i wanted to tell you guys about was uh that after in two weeks from today uh he will actually come home uh he'll get if if he's a go that's the technical term for if he passes the phase then he'll get an eight hour pass uh where i'll get to see him for eight hours but most of that pass is just spent sleeping getting your laundry done and buying like more stuff that you need for the course um but the good news is that i will vlog that so you will see him um in two weeks he'll be in another vlog so that's exciting and something that you guys can look forward to now if he does recycle he'll also get a pass and it's actually a 12 hour pass uh so i'd actually see him a little bit longer than if he um passed it uh, but either way in two weeks I'll film a vlog that he'll actually be in. Look how cute these nugs are, you guys. Always so cute and making mama so happy. I love you, pups. Also, I want to know from you guys, I do have um, part two of the Q&A, uh, if you watched part one, but there's part two. So Harold is actually in that, um, and I was actually going to upload it tomorrow because I wasn't going to vlog. But now since I decided to vlog, obviously I didn't uh, post up the Q&A, so I figured out, ask you guys first what you thought. Um, do you want me to post it like soon, maybe tomorrow, or do you want me to wait like a week and then post it so that you like see Harold later on so you don't get like overly sick of me? I don't know. Uh, but let me know if you guys just want to see it now or if you want me to wait a little bit and then post it. So leave me a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. All right, so tomorrow actually, Harold is doing uh, what they call Darby Queen, which is a huge obstacle obstacle course um, and if I have it correct there's 26 obstacles and they have to complete 23 of them so these are some pictures uh, obviously not from uh, Harold's class doing it uh, but just from the obstacle course that I figured I would show you guys just to give you kind of a, an idea of the things that he'll be doing and uh, now you might have seen the old vlog uh, that we did where Harold kind of went through an obstacle course and I think some of those things like this thing um, he did in the other obstacle course um, but Harold's really really good at this stuff so that's good um, but like I said I think you have to pass 23 out of the 26 but it's not like uh, if they don't pat if they don't do it then they're not gonna fail uh, they're just gonna get what's called like a major minus uh, which is not a good thing and um, I think basically uh, you can get like three major minuses and then that's when you would probably go to a board and if they decided to they could like send you home but uh, yeah I think Harold will do really well at this uh, something about this too is that I'm pretty positive they have to complete each obstacle with a buddy so it's two of them so the only thing I think would be uh, basically if you're with a partner who isn't quite as good as you and they don't uh, for some reason complete the task I think that would fall on you as well uh, so prayers that Harold is with somebody who is as fit and good at these as he is or at least that Harold can kind of mentor and help you know get through the obstacles honey look at tracker she's sleeping like this and she's just having a nightmare okay Jax Okay. Okay, Honey, Tracker's been giving me this like crazy all eye all day today, and it is hysterical. It's like do 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 crazy eye. <laughs> all right, Tracks, we're going to bed. Okay, we're going to real bed. So you gotta get up. <laughs> you look so good.
crazy. Good morning, honey. Uh, I obviously didn't end the vlog yesterday, but what I did do was I started, excuse you, I started binge watching um, Parenthood last night, which is weird because I've been trying to watch TV shows, but like, and then I just get bored and like don't watch them. I think because we just don't watch TV that often. Uh, but anyways, I finally was, mostly because nights are just the hardest, and so part of me is like, you know, you just want to go to sleep, but the other part is like, you don't want to go to sleep because like you can't cuddle and, and stuff like that. So instead, I started binge watching Parenthood literally until 5 a.m. Woke up at 10 a.m. this morning because of pup, so only five hours of sleep, but I can live off that. Anyways, my point is, I'm gonna write this to you in a letter, but I thought this was so cute. There were so many moments, well, I cried, but like so many moments where like I would just get so like nostalgic and like makes me think about like having a family and what would be like raising our kids and and like I don't know, just like all these things and like being you know a dad and a mom and and the funny things our kids will do. Um, and so it just got me all kinds of emotional and like really excited for that chapter in our life but um, so uh, One of them has this little boy who he just found out that he has his five-year-old son, right? well <laughs> The guy is on a date actually with his mom and so the baby is um, or the five-year-old is getting babysat uh, and the kid basically says like I, like I want to go home. It's an emergency. So calls, you know, the parents. The parents come, and the kid's like, I want to go home, like really bad, and like kind of pull him away so he's more comfortable to tell them like what, like what's wrong? Did anything happen? And he's like, I really no. have to go poop. <laughs> and he like really wanted to go home to like be comfortable and stuff like that. And I literally just started laughing so hard. Like it was the sweetest like most innocent real life thing that happens and like I just can't wait for that I can't wait until we have a kid and we get a call and it's like an emergency but really our kid just has to go poop and wants to be in his own home and feel comfortable and like I don't know why that is so cheesy but like I thought it was so beautiful <laughs> anyways I'm gonna write you a letter today I think there are a couple other things that just like really made me think of you and like wish that you could have seen them uh, with me. It's kind of like watching Baby Daddy. Like I watched that the first time when you, when you were gone, it made me think of you. Then we watched that when you came home, but now this is like my show. Anyways, also honey, really quick, uh, there is like the sizzle done for the documentary. And so I watched that and it's really exciting. And I think they're gonna jump on a call maybe this coming week to talk more about it. Obviously you can't be on it and stuff. Um, but I'm excited to write you a letter about that too and it's really good and like just to see kind of more where it's gonna go and just stuff out the documentary. So also to let Earl Sam know in case you guys kind of have forgotten, um, you know, we are in the works of working on a documentary about Everest and obviously the book is still moving forward, Harold's book about Everest. Uh, that is going well. We've been in the process of getting an agent. Uh, so yeah, anyways, back to what I was saying. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I know this is like a super chatty vlog all day long, so I apologize for that. I'll try to make today's vlog a little more interesting. I just wanted to give you guys updates. I also, um, last night, uh, caved and bought some more ColourPop stuff because I was like just getting really excited about them. So. Also, let me know if you want to see more about that on my second channel. Anyways, love God, love people, make a difference, and be thankful. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.